Okay, I'm going to solve this problem here. So the real dilemma is which rule you have to use because rule number one says that if you have um, positive and even secant, which you do have, um, you can go ahead and use rule number one. And rule number two says that if you have um, positive odd uh, power of tangent, then use rule number two. So which one do you need to use? That's the real dilemma. So if you go with this rule, um, rule number one, because secant is um, even, and that's supposed to be signaling something really good, then the solution is really simple. It's actually, you need to rewrite this in um, uh, only twice. So you need to rewrite it first, breaking up a secant um, to the power of four into, and not touching uh, tangent, into a secant squared and another secant square. Then applying this um, Pythagorean identity and substituting this middle one with that. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite that and that will be the last step before I do u substitution. So again, keeping my tangent unchanged, then rewriting this person here. I want one plus tan squared x, not theta, and this unchanged. And now I'm ready for u substitution. This will be um, u because then du will be secant squared x dx. And that's pretty much it because you have this right here. You don't have to do anything to du. It's kind of right there exactly how you need it. And then I'm going to rewrite this as u, 1 plus u squared and that's just du, so that's it. I'm going to split this up into two integrals. I will have u to the power of 5 du plus um, what I'm doing right here is just distributing this. So that's all I'm doing so that I have some, therefore I can split those integrals. So here it'll be 5 plus 2, so 7 du. That will simply be power rule, u of 6 over 6 plus u to the 8 over 8 plus c, and then substitute tangent back into it. So it will be tangent power of 6 x over 6 plus tangent to the power of 8 over 8 plus c. So the hardest part ends here. Uh, where is it? The hardest part ends at, is until here. And then realizing that at this point you're done, you can use u substitution. You don't even need um, partial integration. You can just use u substitution and that's it. But of course that initial part of making the decision of which rule to use I suppose that is another place to make a mistake.